Nothing there. Is that you? Really? Man, am I glad to see you. Lester, how did you get here? That was a crazy escape. After the barrier exploded, I wandered around the area for a while in total confusion. Then I spent days fighting my way through these woods until I finally found this valley here. Diego, Milton, and Gorn are still in the Valley of Mines. At least, I think so. What happened? After the Sleeper was defeated, the entire Brotherhood lost their minds. Without their master, they were all just empty husks. And you? What about you? It was the same for me. I had nightmares and even hallucinations. But once my head was more or less clear again, I ran for it. Once, I thought I saw a huge black shadow pounce on a group of fugitives and burn them all up in a giant cloud of fire. At that moment, I really thought a dragon had come to kill me. Did you see anything else? No. I took to my heels and ran. I'm on my way to Corinus. What do you know about the town? Corinus? Well, it's a seaport. Nothing special. Why do you ask? I must go and see the paladins who are said to be in town. <laughs> really? Uh, they won't even let you into the town. And certainly not to where the paladins are. Do you have any suggestions how I could get into town? I certainly do. I worked for an old alchemist named Constantino some time ago. He has great influence in the city, and he's instructed the guards at the gate to let anyone through who can sell him rare herbs. So it's quite easy, really. You collect a large bunch of the plants that grow here all over the place, and then you pretend you're working for Constantino, and in you go. But don't collect a mix of this and that. The guards aren't all that bright, and they know nothing about alchemy. The bundle needs to look good to them if you want to get through. I think that ten specimens of the same kind of plant should do the trick. Thanks for the hint. How long have you been hiding out in this valley? I don't know exactly. A week, maybe? But there's one more thing. When I came here in the evening, I took a look up on the mountain, and there were only a few trees there. And when I looked the next morning, that tower was there. I could have sworn it wasn't there before. Since then, I haven't left the valley. You mean Zardus's tower? I knew he was powerful, but creating a tower just like that. Zardus the necromancer? He lives in that tower? I don't know if I like that. Don't worry. He's the one who rescued me from the Sleeper's Temple. He's on our side. You need to tell Zardas about the Shadow. It could be important. You don't think it was my imagination? You mean there really was a... Dragon, yes. You're getting into the thick of it again, am I right? I shouldn't say in the thick of it. Not yet. Well, good. If it's so important, then I'll go see him. But not now. For the moment, I'm going to rest. I'm still exhausted after the escape from the penal colony. I think you've got big plans. I'll see you later at Zardus's. Hey, you! What do you know about the area? If you keep going down that way, you'll come to a farm. The city starts a little way beyond that. But be careful. There's not just wolves and rats hanging around here. There's goblins and bandits, too. <laughs>